So when starting this one off, I wanted to make sure that I just got some things down on the canvas. Um, oftentimes the canvas can be a little intimidating and just having a blank white sheet can be a little scary. So getting some shapes down in some colors, even if they're rough, is uh, really important for me to remove some of that fear of, of the blank canvas. And so I do that here, just general impressions of where certain things are gonna be in the scene. So this is really just about composition and building up the structure of the shapes in the scene. So I'm not adding too many details or anything like that. I'm getting in a variety of textures because I know I'm gonna want some trees in here. Um, I'm trying to just map out the composition and get in the shapes for the specific elements that I want in. So for example, for the mid-ground trees right there, the darker ones, I'm getting in uh, just some general shapes, not worrying about texture or detailing, but mainly focusing on like just the silhouette and the leaf shape against the lighter background behind it. And I just want that to read well. I just wanted to make sure that the shape reads as a tree. And if I can do that early on, then the later portions of detailing and refining and rendering shouldn't be as difficult because I know that the shape is where I want it to be. So I really recommend just making sure your shapes look good early on. It can really help you out uh, later on in the painting. And it's all part of just building up that composition. And so for this painting, I want to have the foreground area to be more of a blue color. And as we get further back into the scene, we want it to warm up. So it's going to go from blue into more of a purple pink color. The snow is. And then uh, in the very far background, the sky and the trees are going to be a very warm color. And I think that that contrast and that uh, color temperature contrast will hopefully work nicely in this uh, study here. So you'll see I'm getting in tree tree trunks as well, getting some snow on those starting to add some texture and detail to the scene, but still really just adding in some smaller elements like some trees in the background or that kind of that mid ground sunlit area back there. The composition is good. So I'm starting to get in some of those textures and some of those details onto the elements that I had previously gotten in. So the, I'd say the first stage of the painting, like I mentioned, is getting in the composition and the shapes. And now I'm starting to move into getting the details and starting to refine those shapes and refine those uh, the composition. And another important thing um, regarding this stage of the painting is building form. So whenever we get in shapes early on in a painting, those shapes are almost always flat, meaning that they don't have any three dimensionality to them and they feel like just a two dimensional flat color. And that's good for the start because again, we're just building up a composition with shapes, but eventually we need to start to get in some three dimensionality and some form onto those shapes. And so that's what I'm doing at this stage. I'm really just adding in shadows and adding in that form along with some lighting along the top edges of some of the snow hills, um, just to get in that three dimensionality and that believability. Here you'll see I'm adding some snow texture to the trees, which is also helping to add form. Previously, they were just that solid dark uh, color for the leaves. They're just a silhouette. And now I'm getting in some lighter colors for some snow on those trees. And that will help indicate some leaves and some form. I'm not being too specific or too particular with the textures or anything here. I'm just trying to get in a variety of textures and playing with detail, density and distribution. Here I'm adding a reflection to the water. This is one of those things that is I don't want to do until the end when I know that the reflection is pretty much going to be how it how it's uh, going to look. So yeah, just adding more tree branches here and cleaning up some of that detail still just going through everything and setting up the painting for the final steps, which would be like enhancing the lighting, adding any final details, adding any particular shadows and all that stuff, which I will get to in a moment. But right now we're kind of just adding in any last minute details uh, that need to be included. So if there's any rocks coming out of the snow, if there's any extra small tree branches, things that I wouldn't do in the beginning part of the painting. But now that we're pretty much near the end, now I can confidently get that in. For example, a character, I have this character in kind of the upper top left portion of the canvas. And I think compositionally, I think that works in that area. 
And yeah, now I'm starting to add in some overlay, which is just a blend mode uh, that increases the saturation and the vibrancy of the paint beneath it. So I'm doing that for the lighting. You can see that the snow is starting to get more, more rich in color, starting to feel more vibrant, almost like there's some ambient light hitting it. And of course it, it also adds more color into the scene and some more atmosphere. And at this point, again, like I mentioned earlier, it's just adding final minor details, cleaning things up and going through all the layers, making sure that everything is good, that everything reads well, and that it is how I want it to be. Now, of course, I could push this painting further and keep on adding more details and try to make it look cleaner and all that. But I think for the purpose of a study, this does pretty well and uh, gets the point across. And it was a good learning opportunity for me as well. So I know this video was a little, maybe a little shorter, a little different, uh, kind of a different take on things, but hopefully this was helpful and I hope that you were able to learn something from it. So thanks for watching and stay creative.